welcome back to Platinum Off Road. We're going to talk to you guys real quick about a simple install issue that happens with installing body armor. Uh, this also goes for fender flares, corners, uh, rockers, sliders, whatever might require you to do a rib nut insert into your body panel. Now, what we see a lot, and I'm sure you guys have too, if you guys are fighting maybe a used Jeep or somebody else that installed uh, a set of armor, and you've got hardware that are loose um, on the outside or something just keeps spinning it never tightens up and um, what that comes down to is back to the initial install one of two things happened one they did not fully get the rivet nut to compress and grab the body like it should uh, another thing that could have happened was they actually had that rivet nut compress off center so if we look deep inside here this one pulled as it compressed it pulled the threads pretty much to the center um, that's a really nice compression and what happens is that unbeknown to the installer oftentimes these pull off center so this one was just slightly off center this one i have not fixed yet but we're about to had definitely pulled off center you can see it's pulled over to this way um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're not going to go ahead and commit the panel and just start running bolts in because that's how it happens. So we want to go ahead, when you first install your rivet nut, you want to go through and you want to make sure that every single one of them goes in without any restriction or binding. So that one is bound up. I do not want to commit and proceed. This one, however, if I can get my hand set right there we go uh, this one should go right in we know it's centered up itself really well no issues and um, you just want to check all your holes before committing a panel so if you go ahead and check your holes and you see that one is bound up like this one do not force it you want to look inside there and see which direction it pulled off center and one of the tools you're going to want to keep with you when you're doing uh, any of this armor install is a dremel now, I like this little tip right here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up inside there, find the direction that it had pulled off center, and I'm gonna real carefully mill that body just a little bit. It doesn't need much, it's not gonna ruin the integrity of it, but we're just gonna pull that just a little bit off center, and that will allow that, that bolt to have a nice clear path back to the back actual threads and then it'll pull pull together all well no issues so this one's already been fixed and we see it's back to the way it should be so anyways this is just a helpful tip for you guys that are at home or if you're trying to fix somebody else's install um yes that is a little crooked yes that's a little crooked i know but i actually measured off the top of these that's how i do it never think that the stickers or decal badging is ever done correctly from factory. These are not always perfectly true. Always measure down, find your top line, that's what you go with. So anyways, I know, ignore that. But if you're doing it right, that's how we do it anyways. So go ahead, uh, make sure you get these all drilled nice and center. Uh, one of the things is if you do have a Jeep that had bound up or if these are just spinning or maybe you are at home watching this video, you found the video because you ended up binding up and spinning that rivet nut, one of the things that you can do is you can go ahead and take a grinder or I actually like to use a cutting disc because they're, they're thinner, a little bit more control. And I just work down the head of that to where it's pretty much not there. And then you can either pop them in or you can pull them out. Um, you can pop them in on panels where they can come right out like the fronts over here. Um, but something like this in the middle of the body, it's all pinch welded up. Uh, I wanna grab those and see if I can work them out if possible. Uh, but anyways, um, sometimes you just got to sacrifice, let the sucker go in. Um, that'll be really easy for you to fix that way. Now, if you've already got your whole panel on, you've committed it, and you've got one that's spinning, and you're just kind of stuck, what you're going to want to do is if you can get the head of that bolt uh, nicked off, either cut off, um, drilled out, something to where you can extract the rest of um, the rest of that panel. Now, two ways to fix them. Again, if you've got the panel off, you can get to this status. You can either work that down, pop it in, pull it out, or you can actually um, get access to the paint 
get off some of the paint and we'll put a few tack welds um, as long as your panel is steel um, you can put a few tack welds on that and then get you a a tap an actual thread tap and you'll run it through and correct the threads flush, flush down your weld uh, tack welds paint it up and go forward with it like that um, so anyways there's two options for you to do that so how these inner inserts get offset well not every time I've seen them just collapse even with a good clean hole but um, anyways a very frequent way if you're if every single one of yours is cramping offset uh, what you need to look at is inside your hole after you do your initial drilling um, and you're gonna want to see if you've got any type of extra burring uh, that passed through that hole you're gonna want to get in there with the file and just real carefully break that off okay uh, because if that burring is there as this rivet net tries to compress it's going to want to evenly mushroom around the back side of this and if you've got buildup on one side well of course it's going to offset that naturally um, so if you want to prevent uh, that offset compression make sure your holes are cleaned all the way around on the inside um, and um, anyways that'll be helpful if now there's a couple of these ones on this other side they did we've had all the holes have been cleaned on this whole Jeep and we still have gotten a couple that want to offset um, as they do compress that's just the way it is I've learned with some of the less expensive rivet nuts they do tend to do that um, you can buy packs off of uh, off of the internet uh, that actually come in packs of 25 50 plus and they've been pretty good ones but for much of those that come in the kits um, they're just they're not worth very much um, but anyways that's not every kit but there's many out there so uh, again mindful clean your holes out very carefully um, on the back side that'll help keep that compression nice and centered around the back side of the hole